you're going to be going through the art store today and you're going to get one of these sheets, a tongue depressor, meh, and a bag of Play-Doh. When you get to your seat, you're going to open your bag and separate your colors. Hopefully they haven't mixed like mine have. Um, if they've mixed, just pull off the mixed parts. You're going to make a little log of each one and divide it into three parts. You want them to be about the same size as best we can. So I'm going to slice my blue into three chunks, my red into three parts, and my yellow into three parts. Red, yellow, and blue are our, that's right, primary colors. And we're gonna be having a fun little um, contest today to see how many times each table can say the words primary, secondary, and tertiary. So um, we'll have one person be the recorder who's in charge of writing that down or if you know you've said it, you can write it, you can make a tally mark. Now that I have each color cut into three parts, I'm going to pick one of the parts red and put my primary color red on. Then I'm gonna take the primary color blue on and primary color yellow and put that on. Now I'm going to start the fun part, which I'm going to mix my secondary colors. Secondary colors are going to fall right in the middle, halfway between the color, two colors that are mixed. So green, orange, and violet will be my secondary colors. So to make green, it's halfway between yellow and blue. So I'm going to take one blue and one yellow. Now I noticed this blue is a little bit bigger and it has some red on, so I'm just going to take that out. And I'm going to attempt to make my secondary color. Wow, that look took a long time to make my secondary color of green. A lot, a lot of mixing. But now I have my green. Now that I have green down, I'm going to, that's my first secondary color. So I'm going to make another secondary color by mixing my primary red and my primary blue together. Take my extra red and my extra blue and I'm gonna mix them together to make violet. Wow, that took a lot of mixing, but now I have my violet ready. So I'm gonna put it here. Now I'm going to make another secondary color by mixing my primary color red and my primary color yellow to make orange. So I'm going to take my last spots I saved, my red and my yellow, and I'm going to mix them together. Now that my orange is done, I have my last secondary color completed. So now it's time to start making my tertiary colors. Tertiary helps remind us of three. Um, you could also use intermediate, but I like to use tertiary. Um, so our tertiary colors are easy to know how to make because the name of them is how you make them. So blue-green is made with some blue and some green. So you'll take a pinch of blue and a pinch of green to make blue-green. Here is my blue-green, my tertiary color. I'm gonna make another tertiary color from yellow-green by mixing yellow and green. And this is my tertiary color, yellow-green. I'm gonna mix my primary color yellow with my secondary color orange and I'm going to get yellow orange. I'm 
I'm going to mix my prime, my secondary color orange with my primary color red, and I'm going to get my tertiary color red orange. I'm going to mix my primary color red and my secondary color violet and I'm going to get red violet, my tertiary color. Now I'm going to take my primary color blue. I think I did this wrong. One, two, three, four, five. My primary color blue, my secondary color violet, and I'm going to mix blue violet. There we go color wheel. When you're done with this, um, then we can, you can take them home and play with these little Play-Dohs at home. So we're just going to put them in a bag. You're going to use the Sharpie at your table to write your name on the bag. And you're going to return your stick to the supply store. You're going to wipe off your color wheel chart and return it to the supply store. And you will also, um, when your table's done, we can take a tally. We can count up how many times we've set our primary, secondary, and tertiary colors. And then we're going to just use our hands to get all these little bits and scoop it off. Scoop it off into a hand under the table. And then it should be easy as that. We don't have to wipe down. You'll just take it, take this handful of Play-Doh bits to the trash.